Rolly on my wrist. Rolly on my wrist. Jokes on you. I don't think I've seen a Rolex in person. Like, how much even are those things? Like, hi, my name is Reagan Christine, and welcome to my corner of the internet. If I back up super far, it doesn't look like I have pants on. It's okay though, I do. I'm in my kitchen again. Sit down for a second. Sit down. Get comfy. Readjust your pinky underneath your phone, because that's probably where you're watching it. Reagan's gonna tell you a story. So yesterday, I got a message from one of my friends. He's like, hey, can I put in a request for a pie? And I'm like, yeah, it's a cool concept. You should come over once quarantine is like lifted and you can like move around places and I can show you how to make the pie. And then he's like, Reagan, quarantine's been lifted since May 1st. And I'm like, why is it the 6th that I'm just hearing about it? And so here to help me make this pie today is my friend Oscar. What do you do, party people? What up, what up, In the what flesh. Up? So I was scrolling through Twitter, and I have my favorite sports team, Tottenham! Shout out. And so there was this girl, she was baking like a pie. Yeah. And uh, she had like this design, and it's the Tottenham logo on the pie. So I sent Reagan a message, just like, hey, if you're taking requests, can you do this? I've never actually baked a day in my life, except for like your birthday. But yeah. That doesn't but count. It, it was, yeah. We don't talk about that. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Anyways. It's cool. So yeah, basically, I'm showing him how to bake a pie. Now here's the thing, you cool cats and kittens. I have never personally made a pie dough. Considered just buying the frozen pie crust, but where's the fun in that? There's no flavor. Like, this is my ratchet kitchen. We're gonna learn how to make some ratchet stuff, you know? We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna be making an apple pie recipe. I'm not doing that thing where I combine multiple recipes this time. We're just gonna cut a top and logo out to put on top. That's the only exciting different thing that we are doing different from the recipe. I will put the recipe down below if you also wanna make pie. I didn't know Granny Smith was like an actual thing. And I'm just now learning that it's an actual thing. We're gonna give you the list of ingredients as we need them because why would I list it sooner than necessary? Yeah. Oh, these are actual measuring cups. Yeah. Here's the thing. Rule number one yeah. about baking versus cooking. Because you've heard both of those terms I, and you think they're interchangeable, don't no, you? They're not, actually. They're I've, not. I've come to learn that with cooking, you can have a little leeway yeah. with like, you know, your measurements. Baking, the increments actually matter. Because if you don't follow it, the science doesn't work. Yeah, no, I, no, I got that. And I have a science degree, so I actually know this for a fact. But, see, she's smart. She has measuring cups. Yeah. I was just using a regular spoon and hoping it would be enough because I don't have a uh, Pyrex. You don't have measuring spoons? I didn't even know that was a thing. For the dough, we need the flour, the sugar, we need salt, we need butter, we need cream cheese, and heavy whipping cream. Since we're in quarantine, this is the only flour you can buy in the store that's all purpose. So we got gourmet organic flour. Thank you, King Arthur. The great thing about all purpose flour is that it's flour you can use for any purpose. Any purpose? Any purpose. If you put your mind to it. If you believe it, you can dream it. Bingo. Bingo. Copyright 2020. So we're gonna put two in it. Fourth cups of flour. These things are packaged so ridiculously so that everything stays in, but like they're Okay. You are wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was a really Ladies bad and gents. Job. Yeah. I'm not proud. Ooh. I'm so glad she's here because that would have been disastrous and she'd have all purpose flour everywhere and who knows. What's what the would grow. purpose of that? <laughs> that was genius. Go ahead and dump it. I want to do this part. Do I it. always see this on do the it. infomercials. Do it. Perfect. <gasps> Put that together with two tablespoons of sugar and a half teaspoon of salt. So, what you're going to do is you're going to whisk this together. So, here's the whisk. Put that in there. I can't believe people actually about. own this. Do you not own a whisk? No. One and a half sticks cold butter. There's a lot of butter. You know, in a weird kind of way, I find this really therapeutic. I see why people do this now. Right? So now, what you're gonna do mm -hmm. is I've put, I'm slicing up all this butter into little chunks, mm -hmm. as you can see. You can't see, because I have not angled the camera, because we're not doing that in this video, because I'd like you to see my face mm. rather than the food. It's more exciting if it's just a blind bake. So we're just chopping it into little chunky Ooh. chunks. And then what's gonna happen is, is you're gonna take the whisk out of there, we're gonna put in this butter. Like all of it? Yeah, like all of this butter that I'm chopping up. Wait, and I got to mash no, that all together? not with the whisk, but oh, okay. but with other things. That's why I said to take the whisk out. Oh! No longer more. whiskey business. Oh! 
Bills. So basically what you're gonna do is it says to use a pastry blender, which I don't have. All right, so for those who might not know what that is, what is a pastry blender? Basically it's like a bunch of little knives on like a little handle. And I'll put a picture of a pastry handle right here. Oh! So basically you're just trying to chop the butter up into it. So I'm gonna hit it a couple of knives. Wolverine. Please note to the jury that we did wash our hands. So we did. So I'm not just feeling up cream cheese for giggles here. And also because quarantine 2020 or whatever, still wash your hands. Yeah. You should be doing that. You should be washing time. your hands whether or not we have a quarantine. Now I've got cream cheese to put on stuff. That would be fun. You can put it on bagels, like Danishes. You could put it on English bagels. Muffins. A lot of the stuff that I get introduced to, or I'm sorry, as we call it, white people culture. Food. Yeah. It's from me. Yeah. So, okay, I don't know if you can tell from the lighting on this camera, but I am hopelessly Caucasian, and... I'm not, obviously. Surprise. And so anytime he's got questions about quote-unquote white people food, she's I'm... My, she's my go-to. I'm the go-to. So what happened was, is I think before I had asked her about casseroles, or like, what the deal is with casseroles, incidentally, I was on YouTube, and a guy was talking about making, like, a breakfast casserole Ooh. type video. <sighs> A good breakfast bake. Now, it only showed the aftermath and like the basic ingredients. It didn't actually go into detail of yeah. how to make it, which I thought was kind of odd, but it's about breakfast food, so I wasn't really gonna complain. But I noticed he was using breadcrumbs, cheese, and bacon. If it was that straightforward, why the hell have I been avoiding casseroles my whole life? There you go, message Dragon, and I was just like, hey, so what's the dealio with casseroles? Like, how do they work? How do they work? Is it bread? Meats and cheese. It's more potato based. One of these days we're gonna have to teach you how to make like a tater tot casserole. That's what I wanted. I wanted a tater tot casserole because I love tater tots. Right? I love cheese. Yeah. And now I love bacon. You can honestly, yeah, you can throw bacon in there because usually like I'm more of a ground beef person in my tater tot casserole. <sighs> I'm very picky about the ground beef. That's like, fair. Yeah, like, like if I'm gonna use a meat with cheese and potatoes, you can't go wrong with bacon. Check it out. Flexing super hard. So okay, for those trying to bake along with this, you're not trying to bake along with this, you're watching for the wacky hijinks, but if you're watching to bake along with it, our butter looks like this. Look. I'm gonna hand you a spatula. I know what a spatula is. Spatula. I've never seen a spatula like that before <laughs> in my life. You were thinking of spatula. This is a spatula. This is also a spatula. Good to know. I want to say there might be different terms for them, but I use the word interchangeably. So I'm going to add in three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. Ooh, you're going to cut into the dough with a spatula. So you're, yeah, you're basically just going to do that until the dough starts to form. I've seen this in other YouTube videos. Now I'm going to lick the spoon that had the heavy whipping cream on it because it's delicious. So I can see a little bit of this dough starting to form. Sometimes I also, since you have washed your hands. Mm -hmm. Oh, mix it. <gasps> get your big meaty can claws I, in. Can I do that? Yeah. <gasps> like nothing against the spatulas, but you just can't beat. Raw power. Question for those who might not be familiar with this particular procedure. Would we do the same thing if we were going for pizza dough? No. No, completely different people. Completely Remember that. Completely different. And then I got rid of the crumbs. Okay, perfect. So stop. Now what you're gonna do? Alright, so karate chop it in half. Karate chop this in half. Yes. Do 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 do. Like if you don't do that, is it even cling wrap? Look at that. Put that here. In a weird way, right now, it really looks like a flattened fat pupusa. <gasps> and if you don't know what a flattened fat pupusa is, it's a Salvadoran dish that's really delicious. I've never really had a pupusa, and I was supposed to get them two months ago, but then the quarantine happened, and so I still haven't had a pupusa, and I'm really mad. Oh, my mom's calling me. Oh, that's fun. Let's go ahead and squish it down a little bit more. Hi, Mom! Hi, how you doing? I'm doing great. Give me, like, 45 seconds, okay? So I'm just gonna sit quietly in the corner. We're gonna take these two discs. Mm -hmm. One of these is gonna be our top crust. And, and that's our actual the crust. bottom crust. Yeah. Got it. So we're gonna put both, Crusts. both of these bad boys in the, fr not the freezer, the, the fridge for an hour. Yes. And we're back. Ew. And anyway, it's been an hour. These bad boys have been cooling in the fridge. So now we're gonna, what are we doing? We're rolling them out. We're rolling them out. We don't got those fancy rolling pins, but we do have improvised We have tools. Jameson. We have Jameson. So there it is. We're using this fabulous Malibu Caribbean rum with coconut liqueur. Because we're cool like that. So we're gonna unwrap one of these bad boys. You're gonna take your, you're gonna take your Malibu bottle. Just start rolling it out. 
I've seen this on other places in movies before. So if you need to throw more flour on top so it doesn't stick to your rolling pin, that's totally okay. Does it matter if it gets longer or anything? Or You want to keep it as circle as possible, so if you need to rotate your dough or yourself. I just uh, want to make sure I'm getting this just right. You're doing amazing, sweetie. Dough is very forgiving until you put it in the oven. That's got gotcha, you, because then you're stuck with what you got. Sometimes you just got to make it do your bidding, you know? Yeah. You gotta show it who's boss. It's not bad, it's just not sticking together the way I want it to. But that's because it's pastry dough. That uh, shit is persnickety. Well, we're learning new words here too, persnickety. I don't know what it means yet. It's kind of like temperamental. Yes. Do you know that word? Something about temperatures. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna slowly deal it. Okay, okay, it's fine, everything's fine. Okay, so we have dough, right? Yes. Now we're gonna lay it on here. And we're gonna roll it back out. Then we're just gonna kind of make it like that. conform to our will. I'm like, it's okay if the sides get a little clumpy because we're already bigger than the pie tin. And so basically this point is just extras. Yeah. Cool. So we're gonna rip off a little bit of this extra because we don't want it flopping all the way over the side, but you do want it extra because when it bakes down, it shrinks a little bit. Mm -hmm. So by leaving that extra bit, then you can chop that off and make it look nice. So it's not like perfectly covered because I'm not grabbing out a new piece of stuff. And then we're gonna put this in the fridge. That goes in the fridge. Boom, shakalaka. Because, because of the butter and the cream cheese in there, you don't want to overwork it warm. Mm. Otherwise it won't bake properly. So if you want to roll this one out too. I've effectively ruined the cover. False. Maybe a little. Smidge. It's not as perfect as we want it to be, but we just gotta blend that shit like I do my contour. It's fine. Nom, 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 nom. That's a makeup pun. Hello, media. We did it. Go up in the fridge. Remember, always get your apples from Granny Smith, unless you can grow them yourself and pick them. Or, or, or like a Gala apple, or a Fiji apple, or... How many different type of apples are there? A lot. All right, you know what? Just get them green, get them red. Gold, don't matter. For this recipe, you want Granny Smith apples. Did you ever play that game where when you're de-stemming them, like you twist it around and whatever letter it lands on, that's the first letter of your crush's name? Nope, I've never yeah. done that. So, okay, so it'd be like A, B, B. Their name starts with B. A, B, C, D, E. Which is always really fun, because like if you're, like your crush has like an R or something, you're like, a, B, C. <laughs> you want a peel or do you want to chop? Uh, chop. Definitely chop because you can't mess that up. I can you mess up peel. You can mess that up. <laughs> what you can't see, oh dear camera, is that the cover is still on this knife. Unsheath your churros. Quarantine has really gotten to me. Yep. I'm just really excited for it to be over. Yeah, I want to leave them in slicey-ish. Got it. Make them look like the little apple dippers from McDonald's. You know how you're not supposed to like look into the barrel of a gun or like point your lightsaber towards you? Yeah. It's kind of the same concept with knives. Right, except see I'm not very proficient in knife usage at the time. You're proficient in knife usage? I mean, I could be. I'm proficient at throwing ninja stars. That's not a knife, that's a ninja star. That's oh. very different. Careful, here. Did you just? No, I should be okay. I almost cut Do you myself. see this? Apple's good. Right? Yeah, Apple a day. It does something. That's what they say, right? Something like that. Yeah. Apple a day keeps the pitchforks at bay. So Fine. you probably almost just witnessed a decapitation on video. Almost! Wait, I can see the worry in her eyes right here, and I don't even have to look at her. Yeah. As my mom said while I was home, we're not going to the ER. <laughs> We can think about going to the ER. No, we're not doing it. So you can't hurt yourself because we're not going. I'm sure it's very lovely, but we're not going. Cool, cool. Good talk. There you go. Wait, I can't lose you can do it. You're doing great. That's three fourths cup of sugar is going into the bowl. You're gonna put a third cup of flour in there also. This enemy Carol Baskin. Killed her husband. Killed, killed her husband. Allegedly him. killed her husband. No, Whacked see, him. Now hold on a second. See, legit, look at his will. Nobody writes a will that says in the event of my disappearance. That right there should have set off red flags, but no. Two tablespoons of lemon juice, but I'm not gonna measure that. So we're just gonna 
That's about two. We're wilding out, people. We're wilding because it's out. the inside. That's not the baking part. It's fine. Wilding. One teaspoon of cinnamon. I am going to measure that. Oh, an eight teaspoon of salt. So... That much. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I always like when they add like a little bit of salt to something sweet. Back to Carabasco. Oh yeah. Who do you think is gonna play like the chick who gets her arm bit off? That's a great question. Uh, Hot take, you ready? You ready? Yeah, ready? go for it. Aquafina. <laughs> <laughs> I can totally you can see it, right? Yeah. If Aquafina, if you're watching, yeah. call up your manager. So we gotta let this sit for 15 minutes. An apple a day. Keeps the lawyers at bay. Or the doctors away. Doctors and lawyers. Oh shoot, that's it! Apple a day helps you beat Bobby Flay. Cool, so we can watch 10 more minutes of the movie, and then we'll come back to this. We're almost there. 3.28 a.m. Well, you weren't here. I know for a fact this didn't happen. I preheated the oven to 4.25. That was like a minute ago, so like, you didn't miss much. It's okay. Always. Preheat your ovens. Got a lot of bad boys to get out of the fridge here. Slimy fruity boys. We got our, our dough boy. Dough boy number two, who has very much conformed to the shape of the stuff that I set him on in the fridge. Won't be so, what is that? The clock? The the melting clock? I want to say Salvador Dali. Alexa! The Persistence of Memory is a 1931 painting by artist Salvador Dali and is one of his most recognizable works. I went to college. Uh, I don't even know that painting. The clock that's like melting on the thing. I've never seen that painting before in my life. So all we gotta do is mm -hmm. I'm gonna stop eating the apples. I know, hard to believe. We're gonna put them in the pie. Oh, look at that. Right? She's gonna be a really tall pie. Always keep your pies real tall. Don't always do that. Don't always do that. Only do when necessary. <laughs> Only when necessary. Okay. So. So we're gonna put little pads of butter mm -hmm. on top of the fruit. Why? I wanna say it's something to help with the crust, but like it's said to do it in the instructions, so who am I to argue? Right, 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 right. Okay, so we're gonna put this on there. <gasps> we can take a fork and pat it down. I think I saw that Yeah. in a movie somewhere. That sounds right. Pinch it together. Mm -hmm and then you can go around it with a fork. And it's a little ugly, but that means that it has character and that's the important part. And all we're going for is deliciosoness. All right, I'm like, we're not going for like gourmet. We're going for- We're just for, going for practicality. We're going for edible. And then, ba-bam, ba-bam. Oh, I seen this do this at work. That's why I know this. This is a very important bit. I'm gonna need you to slightly move your apron out of the way. Yeah, thank God you're doing it because I'm not very articulate. Yeah, no, I was gonna do that. There was never an opportunity where you were going to do it. Thank God. Come on, you Spurs. It is beautiful. Guys. Little thing on the bottom. It's the top of logo. I must hold it together. Sprinkle it over the top. If you don't have cinnamon sugar in a pre-packaged container, you can just make your own with cinnamon. So we're going to... What up, party people? We back. And, like, it's about four hours later, we got pie. Could I make a little bit more noise? A little, little, little <laughs> louder. So, we started this bad boy like around two o'clock. It is now six o'clock. And it's just now coming out the oven. But, it smells phenomenal. Are we about to see the final come product? Through, come through, come through, come through. Hot stuff, not just the pie, it's also me. <laughs> Ta da! It's gooping a little bit. And there we have it. A Tottenham Hotspur pie. Look at it. We made a pie. Yeah, now we're going to wait 10, 15 minutes, whichever. And then? It's going to be like a half an hour at least. Half an hour at least. And then we get pie. Okay. The final piss resistance, if you will. The piece of resistance. And this is for the whipped topping. Da. Beautiful. Don't forget about your ice cream, too. <gasps> oh my god, Reagan, I forgot about the ice cream! Yeah, we're just gonna make some whipped cream real quick. You ever made homemade whipped cream before? Nope. I didn't know it was a thing you could do. But you can! You can do anything you put your mind to. Bloody No! Hmm, it actually does look like whipped cream. It is whipped cream! <laughs> oh, shit. Here we go. So now we're about to slice into this bad boy. 
Yeah. Okay, so it's not as goopy. The goopy comes later. Do you like eating your pie with a spoon or a fork? This is like how it's being presented. Wait, pause. Food. With that whip topping on top. Gotta bite into this ish. Bon appetit. How'd we do? Oh, yo. That's delicious. That's good. Like, I wish you guys were able to try this. You can if you follow the recipe at home. The apples, the crust, the ice cream, the whipped cream, it all just comes together. And it's beautiful. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It's magic. Oh, that's good. Mm-hmm. Oh. Like, this is so good. Like, there's no way it should be this good. We did it. You learned how to make pie. And I'm probably still gonna forget, but it's good to have. <gasps> it's on video record. Oh my God, I'm never gonna forget. If you wanna learn how to make this pie, follow this video. If you wanna learn how to make other things, maybe I'll make more videos like this. I say that at the end of every video. Like well, maybe I'll make more like this. Maybe I won't. See you next year, or not. <laughs> Who's to say? Like, who knows? I am a dynamic woman who does whatever the hell she wants, and she wanted pie today. So she got pie. So she got pie. So yeah, comment down below if there's something you want to see me and or other people with me bake or cook. Who knows? Like, comment, subscribe. Hit yes. that notification bell. Thank you, Oscar, for coming over. Absolutely. Thank you for fun. having me. Also, follow her down on the Twitter, down in the link below, because that's a thing. My Twitter is pretty entertaining. Bye, YouTube. We'll see you next Bye. time. Bye. See you in the next video. <laughs> oh, you did it. God. What? Oh my god. Do you see? I look like the chosen one. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh no. The lights just. Oh golly. Oh gee. I will be your savior. <laughs> believe in the me that believes in you. That believes in me. Wow. Yeah. Oh!